How's it going? Back at it again today with the franchise, and we're gonna get here and finish up this month and get to September. Natural was having too many players, so we're gonna have to fix that before we even start. And I kind of wish I would have paid attention. Who's on the team that? Just should get rid of one of the relievers. Not even an easy decision when they're all under free ERA, I guess. Move Pennington down, because... Yeah, I guess that's what you do. Um... Yep. And now we should be good. And we're up by in Cleveland, and we beat Cleveland for the second time. And up on Cleveland again with Will Smith on the mound to close. I'll send him though. And we sweep the Guardians on a five game winning streak somehow in some way. And we're creeping towards 500, going towards Houston for a series. And up three to nothing on Houston. And we beat the Astros four to two. And down to the Astros now with an opportunity. And the Astros finally snap our winning streak. And again, the Astros are up with Isbell at the plate. And the Astros win again. The end of the month. And it is September call-ups. And I think uh, some deservable people from AAA. <coughs> you can make the consideration for sure. Um, you got Carlos Hernandez, who looks pretty solid. He's definitely earned a spot. Daniel Lynch, who's played very good at 251. Chris Bubick, you could make a consideration for him. Michael Massey, who's destroyed the baseball down in, in Triple A's, hit 20 home runs just about. And MJ Melendez joining him with 15 and tons of RBIs. So I think I'm willing to call up at this point Hernandez. I think he's earned it, and I will call up Daniel Lynch. And for the double A, I would like to call up Asa Lacy to the triple A. We move Pennington back up to double. I guess he didn't have to wait too long to get back up there. I think Daniel Lynch has earned an opportunity to come and 
play some games, so we're gonna give him some innings. We're gonna move him up to the Kyle Wright spot. I think uh, Duffy's earned the spot. I'll keep back way up here for now. It's pitching fine. Daniel Lynch is scheduled to make the start against Houston, and let's see what happens. have to have 28 players. I mean, we could get Sitter one of these guys. I really want to keep him down there, though. I'm, I'm willing almost to send just another pitcher, I guess. any of these bats would help him and the guy that would I don't want to send so Jonathan Bowen can also come up we'll just have to move back way in there Oh my goodness.
I guess Lofton's getting the call because I don't want to move up any more of my bats, so I guess he'll get the call. Enough, I guess. Got mad lefties down here, but it is what it is. It'll all get sorted out sooner than later, I guess. And finally, we get through it, and Daniel Lynch gets tore up in his first start. And back against Cleveland, and we win again against Cleveland. Finding ways. And here's the big day. Asal Lacey going to make his first career AAA start. And I'm interested to see this one. He's definitely improved a lot this season. And going to have to see what he can do against a stiffer competition. And this is our best pitching prospect until next year, so might as well see what we can get out of him. Let a new crop come in and really take my attention. Leading up for the Redbirds, the shortstop, Jeremy Riva. Here's Lacey making his first start in AAA since the call up in September and against Memphis. Ball. I got one ball, one strike. Easy out. That's ball two. You got two balls, one strike. Ball three. Again, miss. Three. And he strikes him out. The first career strikeout for Lacey in the that triple A. The second baseman. Cesar. Three at all. Oh, maybe not the first career. He has been in the MLB, hasn't he? Oh, he hasn't, so. Maybe this is his first time in the AAA. Hey! All one's the count. And uh, an easy out there for Lacey. Two away. And a good curve from Lacey. Finding up for the next one. Yep, that ball went out. You're unstoppable. Three! Count. 
And another strikeout for Lacey. He's stacking him up. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Moses. Go, man. Aye. And grabbing another strike one. Gomez down 0 2. And Gomez goes down swinging. Strike one. One and one. Two balls, one strike. You got two. Two down. Yeah. I see get strike two. two. Count is three and two. Now it is even. Now it is three and two, I mean. Payoff. It strikes him out to end the second. Leading up for the Redbird, the center fielder. Joshua. Here's Josh Baez. Baez. And strike one for Baez. Baez. And he is out. Batting in. The third baseman, number 14. Get ahead of him, right here. Ball one, no strike. Hey! And a hit given up. Got the first hit of the game for both teams. Ball, that's out. And back inside in a high fastball for strike one. And Lacey gets him to foul it off. And a play is not made and the hit gets through. Pajes on base. One out now, one out. Ball one. Count one and oh. And strike one. One and one. Ball inside. Aye. And he Hangs a curveball, but gets away with it. Three. Icy punches him out with two on. Now two away. And he swings first pitch on the fastball. And he steals strike two on the corner. And put in play in Lacey Scoops. And delivers the first for the out. So two hits given up, but no damage. For the Redbird, the left fielder, Here's Lacey.
Now batting, right fielder, Moises Gomez. Ball that's outside. Ball two. And that's pop through for a hit. And strike one to curve. AC up to 50 pitches. They're stealing. A hit and run was on, and Young had to destroy it. And Young again hacking. And Young punches out to end the fourth. Asheville. Swinging and missing. And now it's the fifth. Josh Baez. And he just missed his own, Macy. Out of that inside fastball. And again, outside this time. That's a ball. Macy misses for, you know. Chance for Baez. And he takes. And Baez hacks away, and it is an out. He works five pitches. Not the worst at bat. And that is put into play, and an out. So only one pitch there. Here's Pajes. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Hey. And he gets one a ball, good strike. And that's put down the line. Scooped up and unable to get the throw. Ayes finds a way on the base again. Second hit of the game. Rivas up. He fouls it off. Ah, and Lacey up. And high for the strike. Rebox hey. takes strike three to end the fifth. And it's still scoreless here for everybody to see. Yeah. He finds his own for strike one. Oh, that pitch is out. This is for the second pitch. That's put in play, but an easy one to make. Here's Burrows in. Lacey laid a 95 mile down the middle. Gets away with that one. That's ball two. And missing. Two balls, two strikes. And hanging and just missing. Ah. 
and he is struck out. Mendez puts this up too. So now Lacey is in line for a win here, and it is another out. 81 pitches on the mound, and can he finish seven strong? On the curveball and in the gap. Deep. And that is damage. AC with one out and one in scoring position. What do we do? Baez still needs a hit to continue his hit streak. He misses a good fastball there. Baez takes. Again, Baez watches. And this time he hacks away. It's two and two. And watches that one. Payoff pitch and fouled off down the line. I see. Switches the location and it is an out. This will be the 90th pitch of the game. And he finds his own. And that is hacked foul by De La Rosa. And he is struck out to end the seventh. Lacey. No panic in his first start. He comes back out here for the eighth. And he gets through eight innings. Shut out play. There's strike one on Pajes. Like the only guy that's really hit him well today. And Pies fought about it. And missing the zone. And Pies just fouled it off. We got full count. Missing it and another full count. You see, Pajes, dive, Michael Massey with the out. What a play now by Massey. Not shortstop, Jeremy, Jeremy Rivas. Rivas. Hey. No ball, two strikes. And he is punched out by Rivas. And that is put in play. And an out. Eight shutout innings for Asaw Lacey. And he is dominated. He will come out for the ninth for Luis Sessa. And what a dominant start that was. Obvious player of the game, 12 strikeouts, only five hits, and no walks. And 
now we're back to the MLB. We do not beat the Guardians. And we're tied 6-6, six to six, and the Guardians beat us again. So they win the series. Now going up ahead here, up against Minnesota. And the Twins come back to win. And John Rave has torn his MCL and will be out for six months. I think I'll call Bradley up to AAA to, to fill the hole for Rave. That is a kind of a key or piece of the puzzle. Another lefty, man. I did not even know. That, that just looks so ugly. We're gonna have to fix this team. <laughs> Can Hernandez find playing time on his team? I mean... How much of a difference between him and Town except he can actually hit a little bit better than Town can? Oh, Diego Hernandez has already played. Well, I'll just keep Town where he is then. And back again, and seven enough, and the Twins win, and seven to one. So a dominant showing from the Twins to humble us. And now we beat the Yankees five to nothing. The Yankees are sixty-nine and seventy-five this year, with Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, and everyone. The Yankees win five to four, and they win two to nothing. And again, he goes to the Pirates. Paul Scranz is up here playing. Eight and five. Good for him, man. And the Pirates win. And Charlie Morton going against his former team. And the Pirates win again. Now playing Detroit. And we do beat Detroit. Oh man, I missed the end of double A. I should have played one more game of cross. I messed that one up. That's all right though. And another loss to Detroit. Hunter Renfro is still out, so back to the 60 day for him. Another loss to the Giants who have only 57 wins. And we get swept by the Giants. The Storm Chasers have won a division and will be taking on the Knights in the Divisional Series. And the Naturals have finished the season at 37 and 32. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. So we have some division, some playoff games here. And we do beat the Nationals, who are 53 and 104, and they're not going to get much better with the pick they made. And it looks like it's a one-game playoff, and Michael Kopech is the starter. So I think we're going to hop into this, man. I think this is a good point to see what's up. Bubik on the mound. Now let's just hop in here and see what happens. Start Bubik and <laughs> I 
This is asinine, this lineup, man. Hello, right, well, let's get the fun started, and we're playing against the Charlotte Knights. The farm team of the Chicago White Sox in the playoffs, and they do have a better record. Got some people down here. Looks like they caught up Colton Montgomery, unless they've kept him in double A, but... I imagine with how bad their team is, he would be playing in the pros, and... Doing what he does, maybe, but never know. Michael Kopech down here, he's 1-7 with a 6.65 ERA, making a start here in the postseason. And how the mighty have fallen for Michael Kopech, a very highly touted prospect, and he started his career off pretty good, but it's just fallen off so hard. Now he's down here in the AAA. The first baseman, Mike. Are going even here. That's put in play. In fact, it's an out to start the game. Here comes Michael Massey. One of the better players on the AAA squad. And that's put in play. And that is pushed out to the outfield. And caught at the wall. He had to take on the wall to make that catch. And, my, and Massey can't believe it. He salutes him. And here's Josh Lester. And Kopech attacking the zone with a strike. And again, another strike hits the zone. And now Kopech goes outside of it. And he punches him out with the low curve. No chance on that one. And Bubik in there for strike one. See if Bubik can have control of his secondary pitches today. That's a ball. And he can't really seem to control the fastball just yet. We got a full count. And Sprinkle fouls it off. And Bubik strikes him out. Change of speed's got him. Hey. Here's Cespedes taking strike one. Espinus is going to ground oh. out to first. Oh, that's up there. Big misses with the high pitch. And this one is hit and eaten. Can't get to it. It's a base hit. Batting four. The designated hitter. And Bubek hangs a changeup. Doesn't get swung at. 
And that fastball does. Bradley in the gap, and this is trouble. A run is going to score. And a two out double for the Lopes. Oh. Ube giving up a run. That's the ball. Here's Burdock. He finds his own now against Burdock finally. And Burdock fouls it off. And again fouled off. And again. And he struck out. Here's Nick Prado. Hey. I need even the score, but All missing on count. strike one. Hey. Two. And Prado again missing. All two is the count. Prado gets punched out. Here's MJ Melendez. Trying to get something going against Kopech. Kopech living in the zone. And no consequence yet. And Melendez misses. And Melendez in play. And out. That is good. The good guy. Ryan. There is Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. And Kopech oh, finding the zone with his curveball now. And Fitzgerald out. And Kopech smooth sailing for two. The right field. Oscar. Hey. Oh one's the count. I got one ball, one strike. And Massey can't get to with a base hit. Fouls it off. And again. Three. And punched out. Found the zone. Jacob Gonzalez, the number one second base prospect, down 0 2. Off the plate, ball one. And that is crushed. Kubik gets destroyed by Gonzalez. Hit all the way to the concourse. And Bubik. 
I don't know how I feel about Kubik's pitching, you know. I'm kind of starting to think. The batter number ten might not be a guy I want to keep around, man. Be someone that I could trade for a positional player that I can work on. And that's a base hit. Success for this. Oh, and one. Ball. One ball, one strike. Aye. And that is a souvenir. And a swing and a miss. Guess I was predicting the future. Jacob Gonzalez destroys the baseball there, and we they have five hits and we have zero. That sums up the game. Here's Tucker Bradley. Ball back outside. Opec misses the zone. And that is popped up and caught. Batting it. The catcher. No game. Here's Logan Porter now. Nope. Oh, her it's change of. And punched out by the basketball. Nick Eden up the hit. And Eden, he's the one who gets the first hit of the game. Who would have thought it was Nick, it was Nate Eden that would have got the hit. The first base A nine hitter. Here's Mike Grosso. And that's fouled away. That's outside. And Brasso is going to be out. Oh. We get our first hit of the game, but still no score. And a base hit given up by Bubik to start the third. Now back, the designated hitter. Zach. Oh, one's the count. Hey. And he check swinged. And that is hung, but Fitzgerald to Massey. And that's a double play. Nope. Ball one, no strike. Ball down. Aye. And there's the strike. And that is crushed. Nate Eden to the wall. And he doesn't know where it is. 
gets it in there finally. And Bubik's fastball is just like a tennis ball when he throws it. I don't even know what to do with Bubik, nope, man. And that is teed on, and Melendez isn't going to get it, and that's a run. And Bubik gives up another run in another inning, so. Out. Had it with Bubik. Let me warm up Murdoch. Oh, and one. Ah. Oh, wants to right. pitch amazing when you warm up a new guy. Three. Too late, Chris. <laughs> it's four to nothing now, and Colas. Got it done, and now Michael Massey going against Colpack. And he misses. Oh, one's the count. Eight, two. And Kopech again. Oh, and two. Not even having to do anything special. One ball, two strength. That time he missed. And he spoiled the slider there. And that slider worked. Now that is third base, Josh Lester. And that's put in play, but it is going to be an out. And here's Nick Prado. And that is not hit hard, and that is another out, an easy inning for Kopech again. Hey. Oh, and one. And here's Gonzalez. Nope, that's the ball. One and one. And Gonzalez, another good hit. Eden throws it in, and that's it for Kubrick. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for Omaha. Number 29, Murdoch. Now Murdoch in the game, and let's see if he can get some outs. Ball one. Ubik sir struggled to get the easy ones. Ball. It's Perez. Put it in play. Massey got it. Two balls, no strike. And Porter, I tested. Hey! Two balls, one strike. Hey! And a slider on Sprinkle. Two balls, two strike. Three! And Porter. And that's hit to Massey and a quick out. Oh. So he did something Bubik couldn't do, get a couple quick outs and get through the inning without giving up the run. MJ 
Melendez. And Melendez takes ball one. And Melendez swings and he will be out. Michael Kopech has been smooth sailing, only 34 pitches. Ball one, no strike. Ball two. And that is hit hard, but breaks right the second base. Oh. Jacob Gonzalez gets the out. Tucker Bradley. OPEC starting to show a little bit of sign of fatigue though. And maybe we can try to use that to our advantage. I got a ball, one strike. Two balls. What about strike. it, Bradley held back though? Finds the hole. And the second hit of the game finally for us. Just gotta get Kopech to work more and he'll make mistakes. There's a fastball for a strike. And attacking with the changeup. One ball, two strikes. And that's put in play by Porter, but that will be an out. And Kolos makes the play. Another base hit. That's fouled off. And that one is fouled away. And again fouled away. Gets him to miss that time. Hey. Hey. And that's blasted. Bradley's got to get there, and he does. Good to get the computer a taste of their own medicine every now and again. There's Colos. And that nibbles the corner. And that punches him out to end the fifth. Part of the six and Kopech still up there. And challenges Eden with a fastball. And punched him out with a curveball.
And Rousseau is strikes out. And that's put in play, but goes it to the outfield and out. And another clean inning. That's popped up. Nope, that's down. Walter. One hung. Change up. It's Perez. No, in fact. And Eden can get it. on when the base hits. Aye. Ball, that's out. And that is fouled. And they get for the six. Seven hits compared to Route Two. Omaha, the third baseman, John and here's Colfax. And working the count now full. And hit high and deep into the outfield for an out. Missing. And that is foul deep and hard off his knee. Almost hit a home run off his knees. Swung too early. Ball oh, that's in. Opec getting gas, but Prado cannot be on time for the curveball. Here's MJ Melendez. Ball. Counts 1 and 0. Oh. Ball 2. Two balls, no strike. And Melendez underneath it. 
And that's the end of the seven. To Massey and out. Oh. And Eden can't get it. And hits Massey again. him out so we got the pitching under control but can we get on base two hits all day and there's a hit maybe no another out to the outfield Adley chased it all one the count. And he dribbles it to second. He's out. And Kopak high slider. I got one ball, one strike. And Porter grounds out, and it's over Got it. the eight. Opec gets through eight innings with no runs Four given up. The left fielder. And that is hung with Bradley is going to get to it. First out. One. one ball, one strike. That's a ball. Two, one. And Polos missing that one. And Kolos going to pop up. Final three outs are up to plate now. And Kopech is still on the mound. Now I'm just completely insulted at this point. Peter doesn't think they need to take out Kopech against me, so. And maybe they're right with the way I'm playing. One ball. Strike. And Eden pops it up backwards to reset the order. That's out to Sussex. It's the final out now. It's Michael Massey. And he fouls it off.
And he gets a base hit. So a garbage time hit, maybe. Or maybe the start of a rally. Kopech is still pitching with no energy against this. Hey. Just made Kopech look at Greg Mass. We hit it off of Kopech's back, and that's a base hit. That ball went off of Kopech. And now Prado with two on and two out. That's a strike. Oh and one. I got a ball, one strike. That's ball two. Two and one the Prado with two on. And Prado swings at the fastball. And foul. And that's fouled. Remember Prado just missed a home run earlier off the slider that hung. And Prado pops up and this is gonna end the season. A nothing win for the Knights. And they go on to win. And the Storm Chasers chase the Storm all season. They ran into a storm and couldn't overcome it. They lose in the first game of the postseason. And that is the end of their season. Back to the MLB to finish out our season here. Only a couple games left, and we do not beat Washington. We're going up against Patrick Corbin. And we do not beat Patrick Corbin. We can't beat Patrick Corbin. Oh, my goodness, man. Can't beat Patrick frickin' Corbin. Like, come on, bro. And we beat the Braves, though, after he goes in the Patrick Corbin, and then we lose five to nothing after. And then now we go against Michael Walker, the pitcher we traded, and he's having a pretty good year. 3.63 ERA. And I'll hop into a player lock with this. Let's see. I don't think I want to be past Quintino or Waters. Ah, hell, let's just be Bobby Witt. Finish off the season. And we only are a couple games under 500, which is kind of a surprise. This team isn't that good, and maybe the worst is yet to come so far with this team. And we only know what that means. I'm gonna have a decent draft pick next year, which isn't gonna help our cause. Maybe we can find a steal. Let's go for our young pitching that we got. Coming in next year. And here's Waka against Witt. And Witt is not going to be able to hit that. And Waka was very good for us. He was consistently only letting up a run or two, and he'd still lose the game because we sucked. That felt bad for him. And I wanted him to go play for the winner. As well as get rid of that contract. And Bobby Witt 
Oh, no doubter for number 30 of the season. He just blasted one off Michael Walker. Bobby Witt just destroyed that baseball. And for a minute, I thought he popped it up or something the way he was acting. But he just absolutely pulverized the baseball with that swing. And right to right field. And I guess Braves fans aren't happy at Michael Walker. Bobby Witt gets his 30th home run of the season and his 99th RBI. And here's a guy with 41 RBIs, 41 home runs and 111 RBIs. It's Austin Rye with the bases loaded and no outs. Wit. Trying to get the double play, and they do, but the run scores. It's 4 to 1. And here's Bobby Wade against Waka. And Wit just missed that cutter. And Witt again. A little early on the off speed. Walker missing over the plate a lot today. And he didn't miss over the plate there. He threw a high fastball that we couldn't lay off. And now it's the eighth inning. And we haven't done much other than what Bobby Witt did earlier. Now wit up. We only got three hits on the day. That's not much of an excuse when they have six hits and four runs. And Wit went, but they say he didn't. So we get bailed out by the umpire there. And Wit fouls off the fastball. And what again? Foul. And Witt strikes out to end the season. I don't think that's how Witt wants to end the season, but what are you going to do? Ian Freddie Furman, the only Royals that hit today. And Michael Walker is the player of the game. The former Royal at the beginning of the season gets traded. And he's pitching well for Atlanta. I was happy to get rid of that contract and get something back for it. And that'll do it. That is the regular season. And now here's the playoffs. Houston beats Seattle in the first round, and Cleveland sneaks into the playoffs and beats Baltimore. Cleveland made the playoffs, wow. They only finished four games above 500 and made the playoffs, so it was possible. But Cleveland beat Baltimore, a big upset. And Pittsburgh beat Milwaukee, and Philadelphia beat Arizona in a rematch of the NLCS. And Philadelphia comes back down from 2-0 and beats the Dodgers. And Texas Rangers beat Houston. And Cleveland beats Minnesota now. The Cleveland Guardians, who had the number one pick in the draft, are in the ALCS now. Wow.
and the Texas Rangers came back down from a 3-2 deficit to come back and make it to back-to-back World Series to play the Braves who swept the, the Phillies, which I, I don't see how that would happen. But Atlanta goes up one nothing and 2 to nothing. And they're going up 3-0, and they win the World Series. The Braves are World Series champions. And here is the retired players. Austin Nola and Charlie Morton retire. Aikman, Brandon Crawford hangs it up, Tyra Wade, Jackie Bradley Jr., Mad Bum, Those are your retired players. Nobody makes the Hall of Fame, and that'll do it for today's episode. I think later on tonight we'll do the off season and try to add some stuff to this team, but I'm gonna have to see what's out there and go from there. I don't want to make any huge splashes, but you know, if something's in the making that I wouldn't mind doing, then I'm not gonna take myself completely out of it but we need a lot of work to do but at least we get our younger pitching to come in next year to see and watch them grow and develop and hopefully they can help us win games in the future but we definitely need to find some bats and some younger people in the organization that aren't 50 overalls but that'll do it today guys I hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one